Damon here from NLP Gym. I get a lot of questions about confidence, especially when I'm teaching or when I'm coaching. A lot of people come to me wanting more confidence, and this is probably one of the reasons why I started doing NLP is because I wanted to be a more confident person. Most people do. What's interesting about this is that you can't really go at confidence directly. Confidence is basically how you feel about something about yourself. Basically your self-concept. What is your self-concept about something? And if that is aligned, if your self-concept is aligned with your values, then you're going to feel confident about quality, about a, uh, a skill level or a behavior. This is why affirmations either don't work or don't work most of the time because you're going at confidence directly you're trying to say that you're something and deep down inside you really don't believe it your belief structures are built on your self-concept i'm sure you've been around people who you thought were extraordinary at something who also lacked confidence in it i've met plenty of musicians singers uh, you name it people who i thought were extraordinary and then you talk to them about their confidence or how they feel about what they do and they don't feel that they're good enough or they don't they just don't believe that they're very good i've always found this very strange this has a lot to do with not their actual skill level but how they feel about what they do and most often or a lot of times these type of people will keep moving the standard of what they think is great or good further and further away as they get better and better that way they never feel quite confident about what they're doing. In some ways they probably do this to drive themselves and that can be a good thing but overall if you still don't feel confident about what you're doing and you're very good at it, uh, that could be a problem. So when it comes to confidence it's really about building that self-concept and focusing on the elements of your self-concept that you are confident about and then looking at the areas in your life where you're not so confident and look at those two and see what the differences are, how you're perceiving each one. And they'll give you plenty of clues as to what it takes to feel confident about something. Now we don't want to fool ourselves, we don't want to feel confident about things that we're not good at. And there are ways to sort of build into your self-concept feedback loops and self-correction. And we do this a lot in our, our workshops. So check out our site, nlp-gem.com and see what workshops we have coming up. We, we have a workshop that we, where we deal directly with self-concept. And as a result, you, when you line up your self-concept with your values, you're going to experience a higher level of self-esteem and higher levels of confidence. And it'll be the, the type of unstoppable confidence where people can tell you, give you feedback, and it doesn't shatter your confidence because that's not real confidence at all. The kind of confidence I'm talking about is you can take constructive feedback, you can even take criticism, and it's not going to lower your confidence. You actually use it to build more confidence.